In 1998, I had an experience that changed my life. It doesn't matter if you believe my experience, but it is important that you check out what the Bible has to say about hell. Now, hell is a real place. The afterlife is real. No one ceases to exist and all roads do not lead to heaven. Now, I spent 23 minutes in hell. I saw prison cells as filthy dungeons. I saw demons that were so hideous and were wicked beyond any horror your mind can conceive. I saw thousands of people burning who looked like skeletons. There were screams and roars so deafening it was almost unbearable. There was such a stench of the foul demons of death and decay, the odor of rotting corpses, and the stench of burning sulfur. It was toxic to breathe, and it made me gasp for just a single breath. Now, the heat was unbearable. The thirst was indescribable, and the exhaustion was overwhelming. There was no rest from the pain, not even for one second. There was no escaping the demons, and there is no hope of peace ever. There was total isolation, no one to talk to. It was complete darkness with no sense of purpose whatsoever. Now, hell is complete separation from God, and everything good we experience comes from God. The very worst part of hell is the absolute hopelessness. Now, I had the understanding that I would never escape, there would be no end, and no one was coming to save me. The utter abandonment left me completely and totally devastated. I instinctively knew the pain and anguish I was feeling would go on forever and ever. And yet, so many scoff at the place called hell and think it's only used as a scare tactic. Well, I cannot express this plainly and urgently enough. If you wait until you die to find out if hell is real, you will have an eternity to regret your foolish decision. Without a relationship with God, you will end up in this place of torment. In addition, every day you ignore God's invitation to eternal life, you will live life struggling to fill the void in your soul that only God can fill. You may think that the right career, money, drugs, sex, power, religion, or fame will bring peace and fulfillment. But nothing that this world offers will bring you real peace. We all sin, and our sin separates us from God. The Bible says, But God demonstrates His own love toward us in that while we were yet still sinners, Christ died for us. Now, real peace can only be found in Jesus Christ. Receive His forgiveness today while you have the opportunity.